Hey guys, welcome to another video and as you can see I'm not out and about but I'm currently here in my office. Just thought I'd give you a quick video um, just to run through some images I shot recently um, at a place called the Boys Village in St Athen based in the Vale of Glamorgan in South Wales. For those people who don't know much about that, um, the Boys Village was set up during the 1920s and it was set up obviously for the coal miners children and if you were um, a boy, you would be able to go to there, hence why it's called the Boys Village, um, and then you'd be able to have a little holiday away from the collieries, where of course, as we know, there would have been a lot of pollution, a lot of um, air pollution, etc., etc. Um, and so it was set up, um, and it was really, really popular. Uh, there would have been dorms there, there would have been a swimming pool, outdoor swimming pool, there was a church there. There's a central cenotaph there where you could go and pay your respects, which was installed, um, I believe, for World War One. But come on, so World War Two in a second. Um, and uh, yeah, there was also a rather large uh, sports um, hall there as well. And it was used in 1920s onwards, really, really popular. Come the 1940s then, and we come into World War II. Well, then what happened was, I believe the Americans then took over that and used it as a base, as Landau was just down the road. Um, and then after the war, it then went back then into normal usage. But with the decline of the collieries and um, the coal miners um, losing their jobs because the pits were closing, what eventually happened then was that it was sold and it fell into private ownership. But unfortunately, nothing was done with it and it then became abandoned. Now, when it became abandoned, it then becomes a bit of a haven for those then um, who are looking to go somewhere out of the way to do a bit of graffiti, to drink to cause a bit of mischief, etc. Uh, and what happened was, is that there's certain buildings which are now no longer with us because they were uh, the target of an arson attack uh, and they were burnt down. Um, lots of the roofs are now missing there. It's a shame really, because when you look at the pictures, you'll see that there's some remains of what it was, the former glory to uh, that location. So you'll have like some of the walls had braille on so to help people to be able to sort of move around and that's still there. There's the tiles which are on the floor still. Uh, some of those are still there. Some of the original features for like, the light fittings are still there as well but predominantly it's all been smashed up now. It's all smashed up, it's all graffitied, it's all been set fire to and it was really really overgrown. Uh, and when I went there um, my main purpose really was to document that space. I felt that it was, it's a shame really, um, that our heritage, um, Welsh heritage, British heritage, call it what you will, but that heritage, I think is slowly being lost and we forget about um, the olden days. We forget about, obviously I know those buildings and in, instead we have these new swanky buildings which look amazing um, and the past is forgotten about and I can't get my head around that. Um, I think it's just, it's, it's terrible. So yeah, so I went there to document that space. So these images you're going to see shortly, they're not exactly what I would call pretty images in terms of those picture postcard images trying to sell. Um, these are more documentary images documenting um, the space as it is now, the buildings as it is, the state of the buildings, etc. So these are a documentary style. Um, so I'll run through those with you shortly in a second. Um, before I forget, because I always do, um, if you like this video, you find it interesting, just give me a thumbs up, that'd be awesome. Uh, liking, uh, subscribing to the channel would be even better as well for those algorithms, that'd be great. Um, I'm not gonna dwell too much on Kit because this isn't really obviously one of those videos, so let's not talk about that. Um, and if you ever went to um, the boys' village in St. Athens, I would really like to talk to you, really, um, because I would like this to form a bigger project. I'd like to be able to exhibit this work. So it's great having the images of how it is now. But if you've obviously been there, uh, you went there as a child and you've got memories and you're happy to speak to me, then get in touch because I would really love to talk to you 
um, know your stories and take your picture if possible so that I can add it to this collection. Um, oh, and one last thing, these images are on my website. I'll put a link in the description below. You can jump over to my website. They're all gonna be there. And then you can just look at the pictures one after the other, okay? Anyway, I've talked enough. Let me obviously then move on, take a look at these pictures. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks very much guys and speak to you soon where hopefully I'll be out and about taking some pictures. All right, thanks, bye bye.